Bayraktar UAV Systems. The signatories will be the representative of the uh, company and the uh, the Minister of Defense from the Poland side. Türkiye Cumhuriyeti Tarım ve Orman Bakanlığı ile Polonya Cumhuriyeti Tarım ve Kırsal Kalkınma Bakanlığı arasında tarım alanında işbirliği mutabakat yaptı. The MOU on Cooperation in Agriculture and the signatories, the Minister of uh, Deputy Minister of Agriculture on the Turkey side and on the Poland side, the Deputy Minister of uh, Agriculture and uh, Rural Development. Türkiye Cumhuriyeti ile Polonya Cumhuriyeti arasında savunma sanayinde gizlilik dereceli bilgilerin karşılıklı korunmasına ilişkin anlaşma. The agreement on the protection of data relating to the Ministry of Defense, the Minister of Defense uh, from the Turkey side and the Minister of Defense on the Poland side. Again, between the republics of Turkey and, uh, and Poland, a joint declaration on cooperation in tourism, the Minister of Culture and Tourism on the Turkish side and the Deputy Prime Minister and the Minister of Culture uh, on the Polish side. Between the Ministry of Youth and Sport and the Ministry of Culture, uh, National Heritage and Sport uh, of the two countries, uh, NMOU on cooperation, the signatories, the Minister of Youth and Sport on the Turkish side, and the Deputy Prime Minister, and the Minister of uh, Culture and National Heritage and Sports on the Polish side.
This is the end of the signature ceremony. Now I give the floor to the presidents for the joint press declaration. Esteemed President, distinguished ministers, members of the press, I greet all of you with my most heartfelt sentiments. It's a great pleasure to host uh, the President Duda and his delegation in uh, Ankara. And once again, in your presence, I would like to welcome them to our country. Our friend, our ally and our strategic partner, Poland, our relations with this country date back six centuries. And the visit of President Duda is going to further strengthen uh, the deep-rooted relations between our two countries. In the year 2017, I accepted the invitation of my dear friend and paid a visit uh, to Poland, during which I had the chance to observe the progress Poland had made in recent years. Turkey and Poland has close cooperation, a great potential for cooperation in many areas, including trade, uh, investment, and economy. We have just signed new documents about agriculture, sport, uh, tourism, and culture and defense, and with these documents we are going to further our cooperation. Members of the press, today we had one-on-one -on -one, uh, talks with the president as well as talks between our delegations during which we had a chance to discuss all aspects of our relations. We had a chance to discuss the broad cooperation opportunities between two countries. We agreed uh, on our will to use the current mechanisms in a more effective way. During my visit uh, to Poland in 2017, we set the target to take our bilateral trade volume to $10 billion. And this target, uh, the level currently uh, rests at $6.5 billion. And we want to increase the level of trade between our two countries, which is around $6.5 billion. Uh, to increase it uh, to $10 billion, and we've displayed a joint uh, dedication. Last year, despite the pandemic, our mutual trade increased and reached $6.5 billion, and by the first quarter of this year, it has exceeded $2 billion already, and as figures uh, point out, uh, we are uh, going with firm steps towards the goal of $10 billion. So far, our uh, building companies have built projects, close to 50, have undertaken close to 50 projects, which amount to $4 billion. When it comes to strategic infrastructure investment of Poland, our com companies will continue uh, supporting Poland. Diversifying the connection between our two countries is going to serve the peace and uh, prosperity of our region as well. With the defense, uh, in the defense industry, we have strong relations with Poland, which date back uh, to uh, uh, older times. Both uh, the flight factory and the uh, during the foundation of the uh, avionics uh, department in a university, we have received support from our Polish friends. But for different reasons, even though we have started a defense industry leap in 1940s, we were unable to maintain it. In the past 19 years, we have taken new steps uh, which uh, compensated for the negligence of the past years, but which also carried our country to the higher league in this area. We are now a country which can design and build its own uh, combat ship and we are one of the 
10, only 10 countries which are able to do so. In the list of the top 100 defense companies of the world, we are represented with seven companies. Similarly, in unmanned aerial vehicles, we are one of the top three or four countries in the world. And this experience competen and competencies are uh, shared with our NATO ally, Poland. We have signed a document today with which for the first time in its history Turkey is going to be exporting UAVs to a country which is a member of EU and NATO. I believe that our cooperation will continue and will increase. Uh, the improvement of our bilateral relations uh, also bring our publics uh, closer to each other. Turkey is one of the top destinations for Polish tourists, which uh, gives us uh, great pleasure. Today we have also signed a document, a joint declaration in tourism, which will enable uh, safe uh, tourism between the two countries. Our Polish guests will be able to enjoy their vacations in Turkey in full safety, uh, thanks to our uh, measures. Distinguished members of the press, Poland is one of the countries which supports our vision for EU membership and is a country with a broad vision. Turkey's idea and approach uh, when it comes to uh, Turkey's approach being understood well in the Union we have always received support from Poland. Turkey and Poland have always enjoyed friendly relations throughout history and they also display a strong and exemplary solidarity within NATO the, uh, for the protection of global and regional security uh, architecture, we continue our cooperation and contribute to peace. In line with NATO's uh, security measures, uh, uh, Poland uh, is uh, sending a military mission uh, to the military base in Turkey and we similarly uh, in line with the NATO air police uh, framework, we will be deploying our F-16 uh, planes to Poland soon. The President Duda will visit the uh, Polonesque uh, uh, in Istanbul uh, tomorrow, which is a living symbol of the friendship between Turkey and Poland. And we have many cultural uh, monuments and assets in Poland. And uh, today in our specific uh, theme focused and uh, talks and our talks between delegations, we had a chance to cover these aspects as well. And as I conclude my remarks, I would like to thank my friend Duda for his visit and for his efforts in strengthening our uh, friendship further and uh, in the uh, short amount of time possible, hopefully I will uh, carry out a visit to Poland myself. Distinguished President and guests, thank you very much. I would like to thank for the warm hospitality my visit to Turkey was I'd li also like to thank you for your visit to our country in 2017 my visit is a beginning for me I, this is the beginning of international policy season and uh, I believe especially with uh, the uh, easing of the pandemic we will go back to normal international diplomacy and hopefully we will be able to meet face to face and we will be able to discuss in person. I believe that we will be going back to this uh, situation. What uh, 
especially elements that uh, matter for us, uh, of course, this will be a very important opportunity. So I'd like to thank you. Thank for your visit in the past and thank you for your invitation and for hosting us in uh, your country. And also I'm grateful for the uh, talks between our delegations. I'm very happy because we have had significant meetings and we have signed memorandums and documents between our two parties. With the signing of the documents, especially when it comes to the use of uh, classified information in defense industry, also the procurement of devices to be used in national defense, uh, from companies which operate in defense industry as well as the document that we are signing in sport and the cooperation document that we're signing in uh, agriculture. It will be very significant for all Polish people, uh, for myself as well. For instance, the document that we have signed in tourism. Uh, the tourism season is approaching and many citizens in Poland are dreaming about a vacation and they're planning to go abroad because such plans have been postponed uh, in the year 2020 because of the pandemic and they hope to be able to carry out these vacations this year and hopefully the document that we signed today will make this possible. When it comes to the uh, some of the uh, conditions that we can provide for tourists. For instance, allowing tourists uh, to enter Turkey without needing a PCR or maybe uh, facilitating uh, the methods of testing as well as the cooperation between ministries of tourism uh, can be strengthened. And we had a chance to discuss these issues and maybe the most important uh, topic is the meeting before the NATO summit and the discussion about national defense elements especially in uh, East Europe, Europe and uh, the security in the Black Sea. We had a chance to discuss these uh, areas and we talked about uh, different countries' issues, for instance, the issue of Ukraine and uh, the occupation of uh, Crimea and uh, the Donetsk uh, region. We had a chance to discuss all of these with the president and had a chance to discuss Syria as well. And all over the world, we had a chance to discuss to achieve things with peaceful methods. We had a chance also to talk about the Atlantic uh, Agreement. Tomorrow, I'm going to visit the Polish troops which are deployed in the Incirlik military base here. And Turkish troops are also uh, serving in Poland for many years and I have thanked the president for this as well. Turkish pilots also uh, I'm grateful to them for protecting the skies. I'm very happy that uh, our cooperation is expanding and just like we are having today I believe that we can also expand within the framework of NATO as well. And I believe that as the two countries we can stop threats that might come from outside, both as our two countries and for the countries which are inside this pact. Mr. President, you talked about our talks in the past few years. When it comes to our trade cooperation, you mentioned the target of $10 billion. And going back to your point, maybe we have not reached $10 billion level currently, but despite the pandemic, we still 
manage to increase our trade volume, which is, uh, which seems to be a great step uh, for the future, and I'm sure that our mutual trade cooperation will take us to the $10 billion level, which we have set as a target for ourselves in the future. I'd like to underline that Turkish companies are very active and successful in the Polish market, and many investments are taking place in the Polish market uh, currently, and in line with the Carpathia Agreement, which involves uh, three Cs, we can, it's possible to talk about such investments or investment in rail lines or a central joint uh, airport project. All of such projects are uh, some of our uh, great targets, for instance, the expansion of ports, all of these will be handled in uh, the upcoming years. So for Turkish companies, I believe this is a great area to carry out their activities, and I believe that so far, uh, just like the Turkish companies, which are operating in Poland, have been successful so far and have received a lot of respect for their work in the future, I'm sure it will uh, happen the same way. And uh, Polish companies uh, can also enter the market in Turkey and can uh, carry out their investment in a very successful way, and this will, of course, contribute to the uh, boosting of the trade volume between our countries. Esteemed President, I also thank you realizowane są tutaj na, na terenie Turcji właśnie tych inicjatyw kulturalnych, tych inicjatyw historycznych. No, um, jest, jest ta I also thank you o polskich korzeniach, um, która, która rozwija się for supporting the cultural initiatives for the Polish, for instance, the Polish community which lives in Polonyskie. I would like to thank you for your support to them. They are a very important community for us and an important part of our public because uh, when Poland was not on the maps yet, Polish people found a home there and they had the chance to take refuge there. So thank you very much. And uh, they receive from the local administ they receive support from the local administration and they are considered Turkish citizens. I'll have a chance to meet with them tomorrow. I'm very excited about that visit because indeed for our uh, Polish history, they, uh, this place occupies an important place uh, for our history and our traditions. I'll have a chance to visit this place firsthand, so I'm very enthusiastic about this trip. Uh, esteemed President, thank you very much for this very fruitful talks and very productive meeting. After 1st of December, uh, I'd also like to thank you for the opening of the Turkish House and hopefully soon enough uh, the residents of Warsaw will have a chance to visit that new venue in which they will be able to receive information about Turkish history and Turkish culture. Between our two countries, uh, it will be an important symbol of the relations between our two countries. And with this signing, I would like to thank everyone who contributed to the signing of the documents that we have handled today because they required a long work and effort in different ministries and efforts of different diplomats. And uh, it all resulted in the signature ceremony that we experienced today. And hopefully this will continue to the strengthening of the bilateral relations. I would like to thank the President and 
Now we are ready to take two questions from the members of the press present. The first question we will take from a, a member of the press from Poland and the second question will be taken from one of uh, the Turkish uh, journalists. Who would like to ask the first question from the Polish side? If you could uh, please raise your hand. I would like to ask a question about security. Turkey plays an important role. Uh, for instance, Turkey is an important partner in the NATO partnership and is playing an important role in the establishment of security in this region. The cooperation, what would you like to say about the future of the cooperation between the two countries? Our President Duda, after he landed, we received some positive news that in Belarus there has been a, a landing, a compulsory landing in Belarus. What would you like to say about that? The question was for President Duda. Thank you very much for the question. Our cooperation in security, of course, we are the fellow members of NATO, which means we have a natural a military and defense cooperation, which is an a, alliance based on defense. Uh, so our cooperation uh, is uh, based on defense about securitization uh, and about strengthening of the defense of our country. Of course, I didn't say previously, but I can uh, say now that the, the Romania, Poland and Turkey dialogue between the presidents uh, will be established. I had suggested establishing and maintaining such a dialogue and uh, President Erdogan uh, receive that very positively and within the forum we will be able to continue a trilateral dialogue. With Johannes we had discussed this uh, possibility and hopefully this, uh, these uh, trilateral talks will continue. Of course, when it comes to defense, both Romania and Poland, we are not only members uh, to NATO, we are also the members of the uh, Group of Nine uh, of Bucharest, and Turkey is one of our most robust allies and is also positioned in a very sensitive location. So when it comes to building security together, it's very important and that's why the Polish troops are uh, working in the Angelic base, which is close to the border, which is uh, their presence is important for us. Also within our NATO cooperation, uh, this is an activity within the NATO cooperation. All the agreements and MOUs that we are signing today. Thanks to these documents, uh, these documents have been possible thanks to the cooperation and uh, we believe that, we hope that they will be deepened in the future. If your question about the forced landing of the uh, flight in Belarus, the Ryanair flight, in, in fact, uh, the bomb was used as an excuse, but it was soon revealed to be uh, false. But in terms of international law, this is entirely unacceptable. An oppo opponent uh, from Belarus was taken under custody for being a critic journalist. He is now being criticized with very uh, harsh uh, remarks. 
I have discussed this with state officials as well. Now it is uh, also being discussed at the European Council. I had a very brief uh, talk yesterday on social media. This is the international community should react to this uh, jointly and hopefully the EU will react to this in strong terms. It should not be left unanswered. This was a flight between Athens and Vilnius. There were some Polish citizens inside the flight as well. Everyone reached their destination safely to Vilnius and hopefully they're at their homes now, but this was unprecedented and against international law. And I hope, in my opinion, it should not be left unanswered uh, or without an international response. During your address, you mentioned a target of $10 billion in our bilateral trade volume, especially when it comes to tourism. Have new targets been discussed? Of course, when it comes to trade volume, it entails usually areas that are outside tourism. We have mainly discussed uh, tourism as well during our talks, but also the size of our economic relations was also among the topics. Our Minister of Culture and Tourism will be carrying out a visit to Poland soon as well and he will have a chance to discuss such issues with his counterparts. Today they had, uh, they ho held one-on-one uh, -on -one talks as well, and high-level mutual visits will be accelerated. Likewise, our Minister of Trade will carry out a visit to Poland as well, during which they'll take the chance to discuss the relations. Also, when it comes to issues like uh, mutual taxation, such issues have been discussed and in the future all of our ministers, for instance the Minister of Defense, will carry out a visit in order to take these steps faster and we will discuss what we can do in the defense industry, what we can give or what we can take in return. Uh, such issues will be discussed in detail and steps will be taken accordingly. I have to say first and foremost that as Turkey and as Poland we are members of NATO and as NATO countries we what can we do within NATO? What could our how could our solidarity be? Of course we have also talked about a group of three, a trilateral group as you have heard Turkey uh, Poland and uh, Romania. What can we do as the three countries? What kind of steps that we can take? We have to discuss these issues as well. Of course, the steps that we take as the three countries will also contribute to our trade volume. With my, my friend Duda, likewise, he had some talks with the Romanian president and with that we will accelerate the process and hopefully new steps will be taken in these waters. Thank you very much. And by the way, when it comes to the coronavirus, for instance, the topic of vaccination, we had a chance to discuss all these issues in detail. Currently, Poland is in a very good situation in this regard. When it comes to the number of uh, deaths and the rate of vaccination, they are running the process very successfully, and I hope that 
uh, the curve in the statistics will proceed in the positive direction, both in Turkey and in Poland.